What's up, movie crew? Welcome to the latest Let's Watch. Before I get started, if you are new to this channel, my name is Luke, this is Let's Watch a Movie, and if you're in anything cinema and physical media related, you've come to the right place, so hit that subscribe button. Today, I am seeing the latest from A24, talk to me. I gotta see this. It's A24, it's a horror film, and I've been hearing some really good things about this movie. I hate that I was not able to go to one of the early screenings because the closest one to me was four hours away. But I finally get to see it today. So I'm gonna go in here, check out this movie, come back and give you my thoughts on A24's Talk To Me. All right, so I have just gotten out of seeing Talk To Me. All right, so overall, this was really good. A24 did it again. I gotta say, this is also a little bit, it's the same, but it's different at the same time. So on one end, it's the same because you've got teenagers and 20-somethings being stupid. And the beginning of this movie it looks like one of the greatest parties ever and then the madness begins and then after the crazy stuff at the beginning you go to the main character and you get her story you get those around her and then the hand and talk to me So, on one end, obviously that's the part where it's same. On the part where it's different, is that there's a little bit of ambiguity regarding some of the spirits in this movie. And how that kind of leads to an accident that happens that kind of takes place throughout part of the movie. So, there's a lot of buildup, but when they get to the scares and the stuff going down, they don't let up for a while. And I've got to say, I also like, I don't want to compare this to a James Wan movie, but some of the more recent James Wan horror movies, like I'm thinking Conjuring 2 and Malignant, you get these scenes where you think you're getting ready to hit the scare scene and then it doesn't happen. So then when it does happen, it kind of comes at an unexpected time or an unsuspecting time. This movie does that. And does it really well. So... It's a little weird for me to talk about this movie given that one of the big like things that they talk about in this thing well one of the sub things is mental health and I'm I'm not the best person to talk about on that one but I will say as an A24 fan as a horror fan I definitely recommend this my only real con is that sometimes when you think you're going to get one of the scares you don't and there's one or two scenes that don't make sense right away. And with one of the scenes specifically, you don't really see the part where it makes sense until pretty much the end of the movie. Another thing too, I don't think I'm giving anything away because I'm trying my best to not really say too much here, but... There is a little bit of ambiguity regarding the ending. So, for the record, there's no post credit scenes or anything like this, that. This is not a Marvel movie. But I could see a sequel to this getting made. So, just throwing that out there for anyone that's wondering. 
I've got to say, if you're a horror fan, if you're an A24 fan, or if you just want something a little bit different from the IP-based movies, this is something you should probably check out. Final score, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. And that's going to do it for this one. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below. Have you seen Talk To Me yet? If so, what are your thoughts? But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and tune in next time.